So, hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is our C++ tutorial series for beginners. This is video number 10 and we are talking in this uh, video again about variables. We have to continue because there is much more to talk, much more to learn. So, let's get started first with our exercise. Let's delete these variables which I have here and you can try to create now some variables which we uh, discussed in the last video, pause the video and then write some variables and explain uh, which parts um, they contain. And after that, uh, continue the video because I'm not going to pause the video, I just continue. So how we create again variables, what we learned is we have something like a type with the, which is a restriction and this type says what we can place in our variable name and in my variable name I made an example with my, uh, for example I want to save my telephone name so I create a variable name which, uh, which I call my telephone number and then I make a semicolon so that the uh, compiler knows till here it should read and then uh, get all this information uh, in the background. So that's it. That's actually one example. Let's make, uh, let's explain this a little bit one fast again. Int is our type restriction. So it allows only full numbers in this variable. This variable name should be descriptive. Don't make variable names like this and that that is one of the worst variable names you can make ever forget that please but there are cases you will see this and in general programming there are only some specific cases where you can really use that and but they are well defined at these places in general use long names but careful when you make long names it should be descriptive so don't use words like is cool cool man likes this this one is also a variable name of course but you see in my telephone number it gives us already the information and is cool man gives us not much information here that's why we should avoid something like that but in general make a variable name which you can understand when you read it the goal is for a variable name we read it, we instantly know what we want safe in this one and don't think much about it. That's it. Let's continue. So we talked here a lot of creating this variable, but um, there was a there was a problem, right? I made this example with the folder view. Let me open this one fast up again. So let me see where is my folder view ah, here. Let's make here explorer oops this is on this side and then i go here fast again to my example where was my example not here and here also not okay where is my example backup it was almost in backup okay now it's full anyhow why is this so full the mirror okay here should be it. Okay, now I have it. So I have here our example again. I said um, a variable is similar like a folder, right? You can create a folder. We did this. Here is my telephone number and here we created this. But later I have, what is that? My telephone number? How the hell I get here something in? And I've never made this. Whoa. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, later we need to create here, uh, uh, well, later we get the uh, uh, save here our telephone numbers. And um, in the Explorer, what we do here is we go here to new and text and uh, uh, let's say my, my telephone number here again, telephone number. And then you write here down as a note your telephone number and you save that and you have this right this is the thing which you know from the fold of you so the question is now how the hell we are doing this in c++ we have to get anyhow 
the telephone number or we have to save this here. There are different ways. The one way is, for example, we write it directly in it here or we get it. The get version we don't make. Let's make the direct write in version. And how the hell we write it in? For example, you have here your variable which I created. Now you can go one line down. Let's go here one line down and write this variable name again. My telephone number. Here is it. And then you make an not this is a this is called an equal sign, but in programming, this sign is not called an equal sign. Careful, I will talk a little bit about that. And then you write your telephone number in. So this is one way to do this. What I did here is first I created my variable, then I used my variable name, and then I wrote and I put in this uh, telephone number in it like in my folder here you know here i have my create my folder yes then i opened it up and here in this case we created a text file even more complicated than in programming and then we made a text file and then we wrote in the text file this uh, telephone number here in programming a little bit faster we just write directly the telephone number in and we have it then here but here one i mentioned something about this equal sign in programming this is not called a equal sign that's a very important thing this is called an assignment operator and an assignment operator means here in this case put what you write here on the right side in our case where our telephone number in this variable name in this is similar like uh in my folder where is it have i kicked it out okay i have kicked it out <laughs> okay uh, whatever so you are putting your telephone number now here uh, so we call this a um, uh, assignment operator and an assignment means i assign the right side to the left side that's it so we can assign now a number in and here in uh, here is important you have to use a number here. Why? Because when we created our variable, I said this restriction says I allow you only to put numbers in this variable names. Let me open up again fast my strange example. Why I have clicked it away, I don't know. Now let's go again. I'm back. And here I go. For, oops, not here. Where is it? Here was it here yeah and here we can see we can see in our case here in our folder it's not the same because in this my folder telephone number i can put all in we have here no restriction i could put in here now a ltf document or what this is and then whatever a bit file a video file and so on this one in c++ is restricted and this one we do with this one so don't write here for example i write again my telephone number but this time i try this is an assignment operator uh let's say a word in it right let's try to write something like this and you see this one points already an uh, arrow and it says local variable int my telephone uh, number okay it says not that much let's compile this fast and bam we have errors and let's see what it says here we have this assignment can it convert from const char we don't know what this is right now to int but basically what it says this one is const char means here this one are uh, words letters or something like that and this one is our int which which is expecting this one so is expecting numbers so uh it's a strange uh, writing here but it, in the end i you wrote letters and i expect numbers that's it and yeah so this is very important and with that said we can almost finish this video but one more thing this one we can even make 
shorter there is a shorter way you see i needed here two steps uh, steps first i wrote i declared a variable this call is called declaring a variable and the second step is uh, i assigned to this variable a value and this value is my handy number in this case right so this one is called a value which i assigned in, and the assignment operator is this one not equal very important so and to make this shorter we could also make a write this so int let's comment this out we learned how we comment this out control car c on in visual studio or you just write it with uh, beggars with uh, your own and then we go here and my telephone number phone number and instead writing two lines of code we write it directly when we declare it in one line and assign the telephone number whatever it is here and the difference here is when we compare this one this one is just directly so we have uh, here we declared first the variable and assigned it later and here we assigned it directly the reason uh, for this is perhaps that you use that one you know already what you want assign it instantly but in general you don't know perhaps uh, what you want assign this one you have to find this value later for example in my explorer example first i create this folder right but perhaps i don't know which, where uh or which uh, no let's say i create this folder my holiday pictures but right now i don't know where my holiday pictures are i have to find this first and this is the same thing here you go here and create first your variable name and later you find um the values which you want assigned but of course if you know already or or you know uh have already your values for example you're here in this case your telephone number just assign it directly so you don't have to wait so that's one more step and what we have to do let's undocument this i mark all control car u to undocument and we have here again a problem right when i make this what was the problem here double Variable names are not allowed. So when I compile this one, this one should make an error. And indeed, we have an error in my telephone number. Redefine, redefinition. Redefinition means you tried to make another variable with the same name. So this is not allowed. That's why let's uh, let's say John's telephone number. Not his telephone number is this one. Now it will work. So. That said, here I make a stop. We will still continue with variables. Here is important that you know how that this one is an assignment operator, not an equal operator. Here, just an info in C++, an equal operator looks like this. Strange, you have to learn this and improve in general programming. But at start, uh, you should try to learn this really hard <laughs> because this is one of the biggest mistakes uh, starters make they learned this in math for example as equal but in programming assignment operator and it assigns the right side which we have here to the left side which means just with my folder example you put in your folder that what you want so and here the restriction was our int for full numbers and we in the last uh, um, uh, video we also talked about a float which was decimal point numbers <laughs> okay this one done and we continue with variable still continue with variable because now we learned here how what these things are but how we are using our variable we have not learned and i will show you with this example in the next video see you there bye